With summer here and Wimbledon upon us, this week is all about afternoon tea. I'm going to share with you my favourite sandwiches and serving afternoon tea. So we're going to start with egg mayonnaise. I have boiled two eggs here and they've had six minutes in boiling water. So once the water is boiling, I then put the eggs in and I set a timer for six minutes for my eggs. I don't want them to be really, really hard and I certainly don't want them softly boiled. So six minutes I find works really well. So I'm just gonna take the shells off and pop them into my bowl. Um, yeah. And then I that one. And then I actually use a pair of kitchen scissors. I find scissors really useful and I'm just snipping. So you can see the yolks are cooked all the way through, but they're not really kind of dry and overly boiled. They're just slightly, slightly soft. And that's how we like them in our egg sandwiches. So, chop, 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 chop. And then I have got some mayonnaise in here, and I'm just going to spoon that in. Um, I won't put too much, that was a good spoonful, and then I'll see, I can always add a little bit more if I feel that we need it. But that's a pretty good consistency, I think. I might to put a touch more in. And then I've got some sea salt. I love Malden sea salt, and I'm just going to scrunch that between my fingers, scatter that, and then some black pepper, mix that in, and then I think egg sandwiches should be on white bread. So I've got some white bread here, and I'm just going to pop some butter on. Now this is salted butter, which I, I prefer. And I'm just going to thinly move my chopping board. Know that I don't want to put too much butter. You definitely don't want lumps. Just finely spread over your bread. Make sure the butter has been out of the fridge for a while and it's softened so it's easier to spread. And I spread butter onto both sides. Like that. And then quick mix, I can see some black pepper on the top. And I'm just going to spoon that eggy mixture. So this is really yellow because these eggs are from our chickens, which have much richer colour yolk than regular shop-bought um, chickens lay. So there we are, we've got that spread over there. And then I top slice and then I've got a knife. I always, always take the crusts off when serving sandwiches. Um, this is slightly oddly shaped bread so I'm just going to cut around there. It doesn't matter what shape bread you use but I just think you, know, you don't want to. Afternoon tea should be elegant and if you've got crusts they it's definitely not elegant. And they're chewy and it should be, you know, look really pretty and sophisticated. And so that's why our crusts come off. I mean, just slice them carefully. You don't, you don't have to put too much filling in. That's just squidged out slightly. So I should just tweak that back in and then cut them into, you know, nice finger size. You don't want to have huge sandwiches. It wants to be pretty. And I'm then going to cut these long ones into half here. Don't want the egg to come out too much. Well, it has, but that's fine. We can just tweak it in there like that. We've got those and I shall get a little plate to pop those on in a moment. 
Those are our egg sandwiches, and I shall then show you how I do the cucumber ones. Cucumber sandwiches, people can be quite opinionated on how they like theirs, and I'm gonna show you how I do mine. So I have peeled the cucumber, and it is finely sliced here. Now, some people salt it. I don't, but I do use salted butter, and I always use white bread, I think. Good cucumber sandwich has to be on white bread. So I'm just going to butter it using salted butter. I find if you salt um, the cucumber, it dries and takes out all the moisture and then actually it's just not very nice. But I tend to not make the cucumber sandwiches too far in advance from eating them because otherwise it can make the bread go soggy. So I'm just gonna butter all over here. And I don't want to overly butter the bread. You don't want a big mouthful of butter when you eat your sandwich. You want it to be elegant and delicate, much like our egg mayonnaise sandwiches. So, a good smear of butter all over there. And then I'm just going to lay the cucumber out. So it's finely sliced. Again, you don't want big chunks of cucumber in your sandwich and they're really, really easy. Just pop those other bits in there like that so you can see it's covered and then pop the lid on and again cut off the crusts. This chopping board is quite wobbly. all the way around and then cut them into nice finger size pieces so I'm going to put my egg ones here so those look really pretty like that and I shall just finish taking these crusts off and then add these on to the plate there our final sandwich today is smoked salmon so I have got brown bread for this very important brown bread for smoked salmon. And I'm just going to, again, I'm using salted butter. And I'm just going to spread this over. Out just on one side. On the other side, I'm going to use a little bit of creme fraiche, which is a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to smear that. And I just think it works really well with the smoked salmon and it has a really lovely flavour. So there, we've got salted butter, creme fraiche, and then I'm just going to lay my smoked salmon onto the bread. And I have a pair of scissors handy, I'm always using scissors in the kitchen. But you can just cut the salmon. Sometimes you get nasty kind of um, tough a bit at the bottom of the smoked salmon and also it's handy to have some scissors at the ready then to snip that off but I'm just going to lay this. this, actually this is really good salmon, it doesn't have any nasty bits so I've laid that over. I'm then going to have a squeeze of lemon, not too much, just a little bit because again you don't want soggy sandwiches and a little bit of black pepper on there and then pop the lid on and again, chop the crust off. So I've got this knife for those. So it's three easy, easy sandwiches for afternoon tea and they take moments to make. But it is important if you do make them in advance to put um, something wrapped, to wrap over them so they don't dry out and pop them into the fridge. So I'm actually, I'll show you, I haven't planned to, I haven't got it out to hand, but I will get them. These. Here they are. These are really good. They are stretch fit food covers and so I would slightly so many hands. But uh, these 
and they're really useful. They're a little bit like shower caps, but you can pop that over your plate, pop that into the fridge, rather than using cling film and throw more plastic away. But I shall chop these up, and then we shall get on to actually serving tea. So I'll just talk you through the tea tray. I've got two teapots. They tend to be shorter and stouter than a more elegant coffee pot. You could serve tea from China in here and tea from India in this one. But today I'm actually going to use Royal Blend, which is from Fortlands. It's really important to warm your teapot before you actually make your tea. So I'm just going to pour some boiling water into there, close the lid and just give it a little swirl around and that just warms the teapot and keeps the tea warmer for longer. So, warm that. I'm now going to pop two teaspoons because this is tea for two. If you were serving uh, tea for more, um, the number of guests is the number of teaspoons that you put into your teapot. So, we put that in there and then I'm just going to pour the boiling water over that. and then close the lid and let it brew for five minutes. So my tea has had five minutes brewing and I'm just going to place my tea strainer on there and then pour the tea through. It's really important to use a tea strainer to collect the tea leaves. You certainly don't want them floating around your cup of tea. And I'll just place that back on there and then put some milk. Now when you're stirring tea, you should actually use pull them back with motion like that and not go round and round in circles. So I'm going to thoroughly enjoy my cup of tea. Mm, yummy. Now to enjoy some of these delights. So I've got a scone here. Now it's important to break your scone with your fingers and not use your knife like you would with a bread roll. In Devon they apply cottage cream first and then strawberry jam. And in Cornwall, they actually, they do the opposite. So they put jam and then clotted cream. I'm not gonna eat while I'm chatting because that would not be great. But look, I've got my sandwiches here. So the egg, cucumber, and smoked salmon. And then I've got a Victoria sponge up at the top here. I'd like to say thank you to Checkers Antiques in Petworth that have loaned the teacups and saucers, the wonderful tea set, and this cake stand for me to film with today and I hope you've enjoyed afternoon tea with me.